Okay, if you didn't watch my video on why I didn't get the Silverado 2500, uh, it'll be linked in the description. But I wanted to talk about maybe who should get the Silverado 2500. And I'm going to start with by showing you a screenshot of a question uh, someone asked me. RG, just left his initials, RG. You can pause it to read it. Basically, he asked the question, hey, does 410 gears help with payload? Now, obviously, it's not going to help with payload as far as weight is concerned. But I got 410 gears because I wanted to help, I wanted to help the pickup, the speed, being able to pass or merge or pass, you know, going uphill, something like that, while I had a full payload. Payload on this 2500, this is a Tradesman 2021 Ram 2500, it's 3,100 pounds. And when I'm out traveling, it's like 2,000 pounds of payload, probably a little bit more. I wanted to make sure that I was able to hit the gas and have no problem with the speed of the truck. If you noticed, another thing that, that RG said in here was is that he has a slide in that's 2,700 pounds. Now, I had a little conversation with him after this. He confirmed it's 2,700 with everything, meaning him, his wife, I think he said his dog and gear. So 2,700 pounds, done. He, he's just squeaking in to the Tradesman 3,100-pound 30, 30, payload. I just squeaking. And I would say, arguably, a little too close for comfort for me, personally. Uh, that's why I didn't get a half ton, because I didn't really want to be, like, just squeaking by. And I, I, and so it made me think about the Silverado and, and all the good things about the Silverado. I mentioned that in, the, in that previous video... It doesn't have coils in the rear. It's just got these leaf springs, and what does that do? That actually makes the payload insane. On a base model, when you compare base model to base model, as far as tradesmen to the Silverado base model, you're talking, this thing is 3,100. I'm pretty sure that the base model on the Silverado is over 4,000. It's a 3,500 quality payload, or a one-ton quality payload in, in a three-ton truck. It's amazing. The, the, and if you load that up with a slide in, it's going to ride a lot better. I mentioned that you know, the ride quality is not there for me. But hey, if you got 3,000 pounds in it all the time, well, <laughs> you're, going to be, you're, going to be, you're going to be pretty happy with, with, with the ride quality. Next thing is, is that the bed on the Silverado, 6'9". This is 6 foot. So you, it's going to be a little bit different. You're going to be able to put a little bit bigger of a slide in, in and obviously since the payload is there for you, it's not going to matter if the slide in is bigger, right? You're going to be able to fit the bigger slide in and you're going to be able to, as far as weight is concerned, you're going to have the bigger slide in. You're not going to have to worry about putting a couple extra people in there. You pick up a couple of friends, it's not going to matter. The last thing is, is that if you get the Ram 2500 and you want to slide in and you want to put close to 3,000 pounds in there, you cannot get anything better than a Tradesman. So if you wanted a high trim value, if you wanted a Laramie, you cannot do what RG is doing with 2,700 pounds. You can't do it. The, the payload, I believe, on a Laramie, at least with a crew cab, I think is something like 2350 or something right around there, 2400, 2500. You cannot do 2700. You can't do it. But with the Silverado high trim value, you're getting somewhere like 3400. Now you could be living in the lap of luxury, but still be able to handle a, a, a high weight slide in and gear and passenger situation and even wet. He said it was wet too. I guess that means he's got water in there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really where I'm thinking at with the Silverado. That's like the best thing that the Silverado has is the payload. And when you add that payload, it's going to ride better. So you get the high payload and you cancel out the bad ride. And that's it. You get the high trim values for, and you're still higher than the payload on a Tradesman 2500. That's it. That's my opinion on the Silverado 2500. Those are the people that really should be looking at it. High payload people and especially high trim, high payload people. All right, everyone. Thanks. See you.